Hey, Jay, I know you're probably going to tell us about, you know, how everybody did and everything on offense, but I was wondering first if you could kind of assess your play today, how you think you performed and what you what you felt like you could do better at. I feel like uh, today my play was, I've had a pretty average day. Uh, I left a couple of throws I wanted back out there I didn't make today. I uh, feel like I let my offense down on a couple of drives on just decision-making, basically, uh, driving the ball down the field and just making poor decisions on like a read or anything like that. But as far as guys making plays, I feel like we did a good thing today. What about, um, you know, uh, touchdown drives, um, any interceptions, fumbles, any of that kind of stuff you talk about? Uh, as far as uh, the offense, uh, we got a, a like a, a second half of the scrimmage. We got a little loose with the ball. As far as ball handling, uh, ball security, uh, we got to come back, uh, practice, look at the field, watch the field, come back, practice, and more focus on ball security and taking care of the ball offensively. KJ, Coach Pittman has kind of mentioned Keytron, Bryce Stevens, and, and Jaden Wilson several times as guys that he really likes out of that young receivers group. What is it, I guess you could speak about each guy, what do you like about them and what they, they bring to that room? Uh, Keytron is coming along well. He's uh, mature. Uh, also, he's helping out the uh, guys that came in his class with a couple of plays and assignments. He's catching on pretty well. Uh, big body, big, uh, explosive, explosive off the line, the scrimmage uh, versus press, uh, going up, making big plays lately. Bryce Steve's another guy that's coming along, uh, changed, changed his position from outside to inside, and he's helped us a lot tremendously uh, as far as matchup-wise with his speed and athleticism. Uh, Kendall Catalan had a touchdown catch. Did, did you happen to throw that, or do you know who threw that to him? I threw the touchdown to him, uh, Kendall. Could you kind of uh, – Sam said it was a little loud, but I guess he turned into a big play. Um, could you describe the play from what you saw? Uh, we, we caught a play. Um, it was a man look, cover zero, basically, from the defense standpoint. So, we knew coming in that we were going to have a one-on-one -on -one matchup with Kendall on the route that he had. And looking like I got the ball to him with a uh, great protection from the line. And just what he thought about the camp he's had? Because he's, you know, he's a guy you hadn't heard a lot about. Uh, he's had an uh, awesome camp uh, for us coming in, teaching the young guys, making plays down the field, and just being quarterback friendly, whether uh, we break down, we scramble out. He's always there in that window, making sure we get the ball out of our hands. Sam said there were too many penalties today. Anything on offense in particular as far as the penalties were concerned? That uh, it wasn't teams? just uh, no major. It was more like uh, like holding calls after the whistle or I got just locking on and uh, defense got like tugging or whatever. And we just got to clean up the uh, offensive just to hold in penalties and stuff like that. It would be great. So how's it going with you and Ty Clary at center since uh, Stromberg's been out as far as just the exchanges and, and uh, snaps and everything? Uh, it's going. It's getting uh, better. Uh, me and Ty, we might get a few snaps after practice just so he can get back comfortable at the center position because he was a guard position and he's handled the situation from moving to guard to center since Ricky's been out. He's handled it pretty well and all the uh, other other linemen and make sure that they instill the confidence in him between uh, switching positions. Uh, KJ, you you started two games. One was at LSU, then at Missouri. You Unless you know, or something happens on September the 4th, you're going to start your first home game. What does it mean to you to start the game out here at Razorback Stadium? And your third start would be your first one at home. Well, that means a lot uh, just coming back to the uh, Razorback family, coming here, just starting out the season with a great victory, hopefully. And just, I mean, just the atmosphere and just bringing just the culture back together how it used to be. Feeling extra pressure with the game being at home? Uh, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. I know the guys that's in the locker room with me each and every day that help me prepare and instilling confidence to me. I know I'd be good. KJ, running such a big part of your game also, and just the, not so much just running, just the threat of you running. Is it is it hard for you to get into a groove? Coach Pittman was saying maybe taking that away from you in these scrimmages and stuff. Is it hard for you to get kind of comfortable and in a rhythm since you, you can't really run the way you want to, I guess? I mean, that's the hardest part going into as a quarterback. Uh, I speak for all the quarterbacks when I say this as far as all of us can make plays with our legs and in scrimmages being limited with, you know what I'm saying, making plays with our legs. It's kind of hard, but I mean, you got to adjust to it, basically. I feel like we just are treated as adversity knowing that we can't run as much. So let's focus on the part where we making great decisions with the ball, getting the ball down the field and getting the ball into playmakers. Does anybody give you fits on defense? 
specifically? Like anybody just kind of trouble out there for you? Uh, Grant Morgan, uh, me and him goes at it uh, each and every day. Uh, he's a great player on defense. Uh, I like what he does with the defense and just a great battle, just great competition. Just uh, We both just compete and have fun. KJ, what have you seen from Malik so far this camp? And where has he shown maybe the most improvement over last year? Malik Hornsby? Yeah. Uh, Malik Hornsby, as uh, far as I've seen, mature a lot for whether uh, on the field, basically ma making great decisions with the ball, and also in the film room as well. Like, I go and watch film. He's already in there. Or he'll call me and be like, hey, what do I need to look at on this play? What are we, you know what I'm saying, reading on this play? So I feel like he's he just mature as far as taking those little details to another step that'll help improve and perfect his game. What do you make of the run game today? Um, I think Sam said that uh, Rocket looked pretty good behind Traylon and um, and Dominique got some time at running back too. Uh, I feel like the uh, running back position uh, they, uh, was very productive today. Uh, when plays broke down in the backfield, they still find a way to uh, make their own hole, as I would say. Uh, but I feel like Rocket had a great day today. He had a couple touchdowns on today. Uh, Dominique also had a great productive day uh, at tight end and also at running back. And uh, Charlie Smith had also a great day as well. I did it. I did it. I, I did it. <laughs> what, what happened? I, didn't, I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. No, sir. I didn't see it. 